go straight in for the kill. Yes, I have just had my eyebrows done. And yes, I have got white patches all over my face. But it's fine because I've just applied my lovely Chanel red lipstick. Chanel! And I know so many of you absolutely love my red lipstick. So I am going to do another YouTube video on... Da -da 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 lipsticks. <laughs> I have been asked so many questions by you lovely lot about the circle. Now, I'm just going to keep it real with you. I am going to be savage. I am going to tell you everything you want to know and I am not going to skip any questions. I'm going to get all the questions up. I put something on my Instagram, which is Chloe Beach Official, just in case you didn't know. I put something on my Instagram asking you to ask me questions and you all have replied. And let me tell you, these questions are savage. And we love it. This is what I live for. Sips tea. Which show did you enjoy more, Too Hot to Handle or The Circle? This is easy. Too Hot to Handle. But only because I was in Mexico, I was living it up, it was really sunny, and I actually interacted with people. In the circle, I loved it. I'm really blessed and grateful for the experience and I love my teammates. Now I finally met them, but because I hadn't have met them in the show and only after the show, the filming experience was better filming Too Hot To Handle because I was allowed to run round a villa like a headless chicken. And in the circle, I was cooped up in an apartment getting asked questions on a quiz. And no, I don't know my north, west, south and east just yet. Second question. What did you do all day when you weren't talking to players? Take us step by step through your day. Okay, so simple. I love sleeping. <laughs> I just slept. I know, it's really boring, isn't it? Everyone's probably watching this video now thinking, oh, is that it? I can't cook. I think on episode two or episode three, I was actually eating pasta just with cheese. The pasta was stuck to the colander. I was trying to pour the pasta on the plate and it wouldn't come off because it was overly cooked and it was stuck to the bottom of the colander. I started reading a book and it's called How to Make Anyone Love Me because I thought it would improve my chance of winning the circle. Terralisha or Savannah, after watching the circle back, what are your thoughts on the beef? Okay, now this is a question that I didn't want to be asked because it is extremely awkward. But anyway, I think it was Savannah. I think Savannah was the one that was scared that I was gonna kick her out the first opportunity that I had, and I did. Only because I was worried that she weren't hashtag girl gang. Because she saved Trevor, didn't save me. She didn't show her loyalties to the girls. But now watching it back, I understand why she did what she did. Love you, Savannah. No hard feelings. Oh my God, look at my face to my hand. I will be doing a tan tutorial as well, ladies and gentlemen, just in case you want to see. So the thoughts on their beef, I don't actually know. I think it's been very long winded. There wasn't any need for it to go on as long as it did. And the beef got extremely saucy as the episodes went on. But then both of them ended up getting kicked out anyway, which is a shame because I believe that if it weren't for Savannah being kicked out, she would have won. Which lipsticks did you use? Okay, so the one that I'm wearing right now is Chanel. Chanel! Chanel is one of the lipsticks that I used and it is bright red, like so. Mwah. And Huda Beauty, shout out to Huda Beauty. They constantly send me stuff and I absolutely love it and I love them. Next question, did you ever feel homesick? Yes, I did feel homesick. I cried almost every night because I miss my parents so much. I'm such a family girl and I missed my mummy. Who do you think your biggest competition has been so far? Okay, so it would have been Savannah, but she's now gone. I think Trevor. Courtney was my biggest competition. Everyone loved him. He was such a sweetheart and he had a really good reason as to why I wanted to win the 100,000. So Courtney is definitely one of my biggest competitions. How did you feel when Emily was blocked? 
Oh, to be honest, in the circle you get so paranoid, so you don't actually know. It shouldn't matter if they're a catfish or not. The whole game of the circle and the whole aim of the circle is to find genuine connections with people and then win money at the end of it, if you're the most popular. Not, oh, I think you get distracted with the catfish side of things. Oh, if they're a catfish, they must be fake. Everything they're telling me must be fake. The allies that I've made, if they're catfish, it must be fake. We've got to kick them out. No. I regret having part of kicking Emily out of the circle aka Jack but I mean everything happens for a reason and that was the aim of the game if you could go back and be a catfish who would you choose to be I absolutely love Cardi B so I would go in there and I would be like oh 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 I Cardi B honey is that even how you do it oh oh cur see I can't do that so that's the Essex way of doing a Cardi B Oh, that is the, the Chloe's guide to the Cardi B. Oh, just with your lips. Anyway, yeah, I would be Cardi B because I think she's just such a flamboyant character. It would match my personality as well. So I feel like it would be a great player to play without being caught out. Even though I'd have to probably Google everything about her because I only listen to her songs. Ew. The sweeping the crumbs under the rug bit is so funny. Do you clean at home? <laughs> I do clean at home. <gasps> My mum, when she see that, she was like, Chloe, you're such a tramp. How are you doing that? I'm very prestige. May I have you know? <laughs> No, I love cleaning and I love my interior decor as well. I'll probably do a home tour. I always hoover and I've got this lemon stuff that I pour all over the carpets. It's like powder, let it soak into the carpets and then you hoover it up. And I love candles as well. So shout out to Yankee Candle for bringing in all of the sexy home smells, the cinnamon and all of that. Thoughts on Courtney as the Joker. Courtney was made to be the Joker. Like he was put on this earth to be the Joker. He played it so well. Like being in the circle, you get so paranoid because every ally you make, every person you talk to, you're like, are they really my friend? Or are they just faking it? Like what happened with me and Kat when I knew she was slugging me off and I was like, hashtag circle sister. <laughs> but Courtney played it so well. He got in there, he knew what agenda he had, he knew what he wanted to come out of it, what outcome, he had an ulterior motive and he wanted to frame Emily. And I feel like everyone else got it, but me. Even when Mitch and Trevor sat there and was like, Chloe, Courtney's the Joker, you need to open your eyes. He's slagged you off to, to Mitch and Kat, like you need to open your eyes, girl, you're so naive. And I'm like, I don't understand. But I thought Courtney was my best friend. And then I started thinking, oh no, the Kardashians, it's fake. They're just trying to, they're trying to get me. They're trying to kick me out. They're trying to get me blocked. They're trying to get me blocked. I didn't realize how confusing and hard the circle was gonna be. <laughs> I just thought, oh yeah, sick. I'm going on another Netflix show. And then I got on it and realized how bloody hard it was. And have you realized how many times I say, oh my God. Literally, I can't, now I've put it into your head, you're gonna watch The Circle now and you're gonna notice every single time I say, oh my God. I think I'm just gonna create a drinking game. Chloe says, oh my God. So every time I say, oh my God, do a shot of tequila. You will not be able to move. That is all we have time for today. I am gonna be doing a part two Q and A. I'm gonna be answering all of your questions and hopefully they are more saucy. So if you do want me to drop part two, please comment, please like, please subscribe and share to all your friends if you feel like they would love to watch me on The Circle. I would love to talk to you more. I haven't really been on YouTube a lot recently because everything's been so bizarre and manic, but I love filming and filming this YouTube video has reminded me why I love it so much. I just love reaching out to you and talking to you all. So I just wanna take this to say thank you for all of your love and support. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. It just makes me, makes me heart smile. It really does. And it's weird because I'm a weirdo and you love it. So if you love it, I love it. And I'm gonna to continue to be the weirdo that you all love me to be. I just wanna apologize because you guys must hate me right now. I've just looked in the mirror and I had lipstick on my tooth. Red lipstick, 
red lipstick on my tooth. Oh, 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 oh.